Today we're making our, a garbanzo bean snack that is nice and crispy and crunchy and I'm going to show you how to achieve that. And it's sort of like corn nuts, only a little better I think. And we're going to season them up two different ways. I like my favorite, which is cinnamon and sugar with just a little bit of heat, always a favorite. And then another way we're going to do it is it sort of has a Mexican flair to it. We're going to be doing some ground cumin, chipotle chili pepper for a little bit of heat, some garlic powder, a little onion powder, and some salt. Both ways are great, just, you know, different ways of changing it up. And maybe you can tell me what your favorite would be down in the comments. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you how to make it right after this. We are using canned garbanzo beans with this recipe, and so we're gonna just, you know, drain these and then give them a nice rinse. After we rinse them, we're gonna pour them. I have a couple of baking sheets right here, and I just threw some paper towels down so that when I pour the garbanzo beans onto it, they're gonna be a little wet yet, and then we're going to cover them, you know, just kind of pat them dry a little bit. And you have to remember to remove the paper towel from under your garbanzo beans, because you don't want that going in the oven. And you can put parchment paper down under this, make it a little bit easier to clean up. And then we're gonna pop them in a 400 degree oven and we're gonna roast them, which is gonna dry them out really well and make them crispy before we season them up. Okay, that's really important to do, otherwise you're not gonna have garbanzo beans that are crispy if you don't do this. And then we're gonna roast them in the oven for, I'm gonna say, you know, you're gonna check them every 10 minutes or so. We're gonna kinda of shake them and kinda of rotate them so that they don't burn on one side. So it's gonna take anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, so since I'm cooking two trays here, the alarm went off and you just want to kind of stir them around a little bit with a spatula. They do stick a little bit, that's why I think parchment paper would be a great idea. I just don't happen to have any right now and so I can't do it. And I'm going to rotate the pans as well. And we'll go for another 10 minutes. All right, so our garbanzo beans have been cooking for 40 minutes. Now, remember, I've, I've checked them every 10 minutes, kind of stirred them, you know, shook them around, rotated the pans, and I want to show you what these look like at this point. I'm not sure if they're done yet, but I want to show you what we're looking for. Now, hopefully, you can see here, a lot of these is split open. That's what's going to happen when they dry out. They're almost there, but I don't think they're quite done yet, and you can taste one. Take one out and just try it. The outside's crispy, but the inside is not. So these need to go longer and let them cook another 10 minutes. All right, here's our garbanzo beans after almost 50 minutes. And when they start to turn, they turn quick. So you got to watch them close in the last 10 minutes or so. You don't want them to burn. So a couple here burned. There's a couple pieces over here that burned. But this is what you want. These are going to be nice and crispy. Now we're going to cook them on the stove and we're going to spice them up. And it only takes just a few minutes to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my spices. I'm gonna do the cinnamon sugar one first. You don't have to be exact with this. It's not like, you know, everything has to be precise. Here's my cinnamon. Now for the heat, feel free to use whatever you want. You could use cayenne pepper. You can use chipotle chili powder. I'm gonna use some ancho just cause I like it. I like that smoky flavor. And then you just wanna stir it all up. Now for our Mexican flavor spicing, we're gonna add some ground cumin. I like the chipotle chili powder, some smoked paprika, garlic powder, and some onion powder. And we'll give that a stir. And I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt to that. And that's ready to go. Okay, so we have a, a relatively small frying pan here and a, over medium heat, we'll just start it off. We're gonna put some oil in the pan now the oil is gonna coat the garbanzo beans and then it'll help the spices to stick to it. We'll let that warm up with just a smidgen. Now the reason we, we roasted our garbanzo beans dry is so that they would actually crisp up and all that moisture would evaporate out of them. If you put oil on them, it's gonna prevent that from happening. So that's why we dry roast them. And once you can smell that oil getting a little fragrant, we're gonna to toss in our beans. And you want to coat them all. I might add just a little more oil to the pan just to have enough. 
let that warm up again. All right, we're gonna add our cinnamon and sugar mixture first, and I'm gonna be pretty generous with this. And that's really pretty much all there is to this. And then I'm just gonna place them in a bowl and then we'll do our second batch with our other flavor. Do you ever get an inspiration? Well, as I'm pouring the garbanzo beans into the dish, I decide that I think some butter would really add some great flavor to this. So I stop and I go and I add some butter to it and the result is way better. So I recommend doing that and it'll be in the written description down below the video. All right, we're going to do our second batch, which is our Mexican flavored one. So we'll get that to melt and we're just going to do the same thing. And go the spices. And if you find that you, it's too dry and you can't get the spices to kind of mix in with the oil and the butter, add a little, just add a little bit more. It's no big deal. And that's what I'm going to do, just a smidgen more oil. I just want to make sure that the spices get, you know, get a little moisture to them. But make sure you use enough because you want these to coat be real well coated, all right? So I'm gonna add just a little bit more, sprinkle it on top. You know what? I lost track of which seasoning is in which garbanzo beans, so let's take a taste and I'll tell you uh, which is which. All right, let's try this one here. You hear that crunch? If you can't hear it, believe me, they're nice and crunchy and you, you gotta have the crunch. That's what makes it. Okay, this is the cinnamon one. The addition, I love it when you get inspirations at the last second. Adding the butter to this brings makes it more savory, makes it more delicious. Definitely add that butter in there. Now let's try the other one. I got that little hint on the first one with a little bit of heat at the end, which is perfect for me. I don't like it too spicy. The Mexican one definitely has a little kick to it. Some of you will love that. This might make me sneeze or cough. I apologize, <laughs> but it's good. And again, I like the butter in there. It just makes it more savory, gives it a little more flavor. These are great, guys. I think you're going to love them. So that's my recipe for some nice crunchy garbanzo beans. It's a great snack, good protein in there for you, healthy ingredients, a uh, nice alternative to popcorn, let's say, you know, on a Saturday night, you're, you're kicking back and watching some TV and you want a little snack, uh, you know, might be a nice alternative to popcorn. So let me know if you're gonna use one of my spice blends, if you're gonna try this, or maybe you have one of your, uh, one of your own. Let me know down in the comments, I'd love to hear it. So if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button right over here at the end of the video or down below. And also make sure you click that uh, bell next to it because that will notify you when new videos come out every week. And I don't want you to miss any. So thanks again for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.